Hi, I'm Justin North and today's tap tip, I want to show you how to make the best potato puree. It's a really nice and creamy and gorgeous and absolutely beautiful. So you'll need to start with some peeled potatoes. I find uh, Dutch cream or Desiree, any of those sort of ones are absolutely gorgeous. Now, the important thing here is that we cut them to roughly the same size. The shape doesn't matter too much, it's all about the size and that's because we want them to cook at the same time opposed to having some that are potentially overcooked and others that are undercooked and that will make your mash a little bit grainy. So into a pan of cold water and then a really good pinch of salt. Now it's important to season the potatoes throughout the cooking process. Put them on the stove and bring it to a boil but turn it straight down to a really gentle simmer. So the idea is that the potatoes poach and that they don't boil and split and become watery. So we'll put that on a nice heat and then whilst those are cooking we're going to take another saucepan and then we're going to make an emulsion which is basically cream, milk and butter. Put it into the saucepan. The quantities don't really matter too much, it depends on how you like it. If you like it buttery, you put more butter in. If you want it a bit more light and fresher, put olive oil into it. So the quantities are really up to you. So start with some cream, some lovely milk and then a good knob of butter. Place it over onto a gentle heat and just enough to heat it and to melt it. And then what we'll do is I've got some potatoes here that have been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you can see when we have a look inside the pot that they'll be really nice and soft. My knife will just sort of go through them like so and they'll just come off really, really gently like that. And you'll notice that they're still in, one, in, the, in the same shape. They haven't split open, they haven't boiled, so they're not going to be grainy and starchy mash. Now, we're just going to pour off that excess water. And another great tip to bear in mind is that let them sit for a moment and steam dry. So they're just going to sit there, the water's going to go off and you can see that steam coming off and they'll just become really light and fluffy and dry, so they're not watery. And then what you can do while you're waiting for that is prepare a nice bowl, a clean stainless steel bowl, and then a sieve. So you can either use a flat drum sieve or just a fine mesh strainer like so. And then with the back of a quite a firm spoon, you can just take the potatoes a few at a time and now what you want to do is just basically push them through the sieve. You don't want to work them too much and by working them I mean sort of go back and forth like this. So if you keep working them they'll become very gluey and quite starchy. So you basically just want to push it through. If you have a look on here you can see how fluffy and it's quite dry but it's a dryness that you want because we're going to add the moisture of the creaminess of the butter and the milk and the cream later. So this does take a few moments, but the good thing is that you can often get a little facial steam from it as well, so it's good for your complexion, I find. But it's quite therapeutic, and you know that little bit of extra hard work is well worth it at the end because the end product you get is a real restaurant quality, creamy, buttery, beautiful mash. And then just sort of tap that off. That'll probably do for now. And just scrape off the excess from around there. And then just grab another pan for that to go into. Okay. So a nice clean pan on the heat. And it's important to work fairly swiftly because we don't want the potato to cool down. Because if it cools down at this stage and we try and reheat it and mix the cream emulsion for it, it will go a little bit gluey. So hot potato in. And then this is our beautiful emulsion mix that we made of milk, cream and butter. So we're just going to pour that nice into our potato and give it a little mix around. And it's at this point you can add as much or as little of an emulsion as possible. I like mine sort of medium, not too firm, not too light. That's almost about good for me. And you know, just to make sure that we have enough butter in your mashed potato. I always just add a few lovely knobs, unsalted butter, 
at the end, mix that around, and then just a final little pinch of beautiful flakes over into that. Give it a really good mix. So you can see how creamy, buttery, and velvet and glossy that looks. And then all that's required now is a little pasty. Never let it go.